Hello everyone, this is Mark and Todd. I'm not sure if you can see him here. Using the blue light just so we don't interfere with any of the uh, sessions going on. Just a quick update to some things that have been happening so far is um, we were, Todd and I were in the boiler room. We had REM pod interaction, flashlight interaction. Uh, up here, been several noises, a whistle's been heard, um, knocks. Um, two people uh, reported seeing a shadow figure. So what we're going to do is Todd and I are going to go down here and we're just going to uh, basically go silent. We're going to do this live just a little bit different and let you, uh, let you be in on the EVP session uh, with Amanda and Marty. So again, if you have any questions or comments, please post them and we will we'll be, we, we'll be I'm going to try that again. We'll be glad to answer them. So here, let me change this view real quick so you can see what's going on. So once again, here's Marty. Here's Amanda. We have a REM pod down here. You can see the light. And then a, a cat toy, a lighted ball here. K2 down here at the very end. Thank you. So we're going to go silent. Uh, on top of the fire escape. It was going off earlier too. Yeah, cat toy did did go off earlier. So we're going to go quiet and monitor their EVP session, see what happens. Good evening. How are you tonight? If you are with us, can you touch one of those lights just to, to let us know that you're here? We definitely know you're here because earlier you made the cat toy go off twice. And I thought I heard somebody whistle. You like to whistle while you work? Were you a worker here at the hospital? If you were, what did you do here? What was your profession? That was not you whistling? No. Oh, are you serious? Are, no. No way. Dead serious. I thought it was Marty. I thought it was one of you. No. Did you play back when I whistled? No. No. <laughs> I'm just sitting here filming. Okay, I know you guys had to hear that. I thought it was Marty. That was amazing. Can you please do that again? Exactly. It was the exact same thing that I whistled. Literally. That's what I thought you were doing. I thought you were playing it back. I I know if you guys were watching, you had to have heard that. <laughs> that, that, was that was crazy. That was the coolest thing. Can you please do that one more time? Remember, it sounds like this. I swear I thought that was one of you. I thought that was you guys back. I did too. Yeah, Rebecca. I thought it was you. Yeah, Rebecca, that was... It did. That was crazy. It did. It was like right next to you. That was... That was... 
was cool. That's good stuff. <laughs> that was wild. Thank you so much. How about a knock? You like to knock? That's what somebody reported on here too. They thought they heard two quick whistles. That was not mine. Mm -hmm. That wasn't yours, Marty? Mm -hmm. Okay, we just heard a growl. Can you knock on that door right there? <laughs> scare everybody. Please? Yes, please. <laughs> Cool. Can you please keep doing that? Yeah, it sounds like someone's walking at the end of the hall. Can you hear footsteps? Yep, there was again. Can you touch any of those lights, the green one or the red one? They won't hurt you, they'll just turn different colors. You guys will hear um, a beep every once in a while. It's the fire suppression system here. But what we heard, you can go back and listen maybe a minute or two after we started. Marty whistled <clears throat> and something whistled back. Like loud. Like clearly repeating exactly what he whistled. And we thought it was one of you yeah, playing and, it back. And we, we thought it was one of you guys. <laughs> Did somebody just whistle again? I heard that. I heard that. That was a... It was a single whistle. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, like that. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That's what I heard. There's footsteps. Footsteps at the end of the hallway. Come on out. Come on out. Come on out. Since you like to whistle, can you answer this? The only one hearing footsteps. Can you please walk by that green light at the very end of the hallway? You want to go 
won't kick it over. Yeah. Knock it over. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Female. We just heard a female. Hopefully you guys were able to hear that. And I am the only female female the only thing. Yeah. Please, ma'am. Can you make that cat toy light up again? You did it earlier. You did it twice, even before we got started. And we would love if you could do that again. Please. We hear you. So if we go that way, but when you look out, it's just that basically a junkyard right there. So mm -hmm. I don't know where yeah. it went. There's a lot of storage places back there, but nothing. Amanda, can you describe for everybody watching what happened on the first whistle earlier? Earlier? As, I mean, as we were setting up? Yeah, I mean, I was the only one down this way a little bit. I wasn't very far, and I thought I heard a whistle. Jason didn't hear it, and he was over that way. I heard a whistle, and then we looked down here, and sure enough, the cat toy was lighting up like crazy. And then you guys came over, and then it started happening again. Um, I'm pretty sure that was it, but I mean, we caught it on camera, so we'll be able to show that evidence, which is pretty neat. But that was it. I mean, nothing else after that, but we definitely caught that, and that was before we even started, so it was pretty cool. Yeah, we have uh, someone who was watching. They heard the whistling, too. Cool. And Marty, if you don't mind describing earlier, you were talking about being downstairs and something about a loud bang. Could yeah, you describe? We were both down there. Yeah, Amanda and I were downstairs below where we are right now. We were trying to get somebody to interact with us, and probably about... It was probably from you to this doorway right here, I would Sorry, say. Sorry, but that doorway just disappeared real quick. I'm trying to figure out if that was me. He's distracted. Uh, but, yeah, probably 
the door, the door here to me sounded like somebody either hit the lock or hit the door or something. We couldn't figure out what it was, but it was it was pretty loud. And it spooked us. It startled us. <laughs> yeah. We started cracking up because it was so loud and we just jumped. And we were the only yeah, you group couldn't. on this side of the building, so it wasn't anybody above us. No, and you couldn't hear any of the groups. Like, we tested that out to make sure it was nobody, and we didn't hear anybody. And even the walkie was kind of staticky, mm -hmm. so we knew that yeah, was kind of far away. Yeah. Yeah, because they, they were at the other end. But we'll definitely catch that on our EVPs, and it was loud, so... And I felt like we were just kind of chasing it. You know, we would hear one thing on the end of the hallway, and we'd go down there. It would, I feel like it would move to the up, to the opposite end. Mm -hmm. You know, each time we would move. Mm -hmm. Kind of playing with us. Do you like to play games? There was another noise behind us. We do too. Mm -hmm. We want you to play with us. We will play. If I roll this ball to yes. you, will you roll it back? That's what I was just thinking. Can you roll it back now? Or just kick it? You saw how cool it was when it lit up. Is it still too close to us? Here. Get a little farther now. All right, Mr. Boulder. Sorry. There you go. Taught anything down at the other end? I heard something. Yeah. I don't see anything either. It's kind of like what she said. We might be chasing it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Can you please just light that up if you don't want to roll it back? Show everybody at home who wants to see it. We know you can do it. You did it earlier. Sounds like footsteps again. Mm -hmm.
Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the other group. We have Jason, um, AJ, and David who are down at the other end where they're getting activity. Um, if anything significant happens down here with Mari and Amanda, they'll holler at us and uh, we'll, we'll come running back. So uh, you got you guys keep it up. Keep you Thank you. That whistling was that was that was, that was amazing. Literally, I mean, truly, to a T, the same I, exact I thing that you whistled. I one hundred percent did too. I mean, yeah, that, that, that was that, the coolest exactly thing ever. I thought it was that you were playing it back. One hundred percent agree. Yeah, that was that was yeah. wild. Wow. Then we have Cindy Farmer. Green, who said that she had heard the whistling too awesome. in the beginning. So that's so cool. and that it happened alive too. I mean, how many yes. times does that happen? No, it like never does. That was so, yes. Good that was a cussing person because I would have. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're going to head down. Todd, I follow you. I'll uh, turn around. We'd like for you. Not so much to see us so much, if I can get this to switch views again, but to, uh, to see what was, hey, Caden, I love you, buddy. Caden, my grandson, who is the future of PRGI, he's actually taking a daytime tour holding a K2 meter at the uh, Brushy Mountain State Prison and had a lot of interaction with it. And he was not scared. He is a uh, best grandson in the world. Okay, so we're looking for AJ and David. Looks like we found them standing here. Todd, did you see something down here? Hey, Alicia. Best dinner and show I've had in a long time. <laughs> Thank you, Rebecca. Enjoy your dinner. All right, I'll follow you, Todd. This looks like we have the other group. Oh, Todd, 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 Todd. Motion light just went off. And it, the where it's pointed, it it should not go off. I didn't go that far. No. No, I know I saw something in the hallway. Well, if, if it would have went off, it, it would have went off when you, when, you, when you stood up, when right. you walked up there. It, it followed me. It was coming. Can you do that again? We know for a fact that was not Todd or it would have no. went off when he first walked there. I never went towards it. No, stay you're there. standing behind the center. I know I saw the shadow. What looked like going that way. But... Hey, Ashley. From your other dad, we love you. <laughs> your, your dad. <laughs> From Poppy. All right, so here is David and Jason and AJ. Hello. What have we got going on here, guys? You want to talk? Well, when, when we lost them, when the, when the radio came on earlier, we hadn't been able to get them back. We, we believe what Marty may have seen as a figure about that time, right in this area, as he was looking down here, right. may have been who we were having that EVP session with. Yeah, we were communicating with uh, a male born in the 1960s, and... Uh, it was around 20 when he died. Um, we were getting EMF hits from the EDI meter and the K2. And now we can't get nothing. Can we you? think he's moved on. I think he might be right around that corner right there. Maybe. You yeah, want to go down one of the other hallways? Down. Yeah, we can. Let's go. All right, we'll follow you. Let's see. Let's see. Patrick, sorry. Um, this location is actually a private location. We can't name it publicly. But it it's, uh, used to be a hospital. It's in the North Georgia area. 
um, about an hour outside of Chattanooga. And hello, Amy. Been on at South Pittsburgh twice. Really want to go back. Yeah, Amy, we definitely recommend going back. They also have, from what we hear, Wi-Fi in most of the building now, Amy. Um, so you should be able to get some good recording, or if you ever do a live session, um, hey. it should help. Come here. Hang on. Move it back over. Move it off through. EMF hits. EMF hits going on right now. Are you back with me? Can you back up for a second make, and let it stop? What about the mail? Is the mail going off any? Nothing. Nothing on the mail, but we have the EDI and the K2 meter going off. Hello from Todd's mom from South Carolina. Hey, back on there. Okay. Sorry for that, guys. Um, for whatever reason, we lost connection there for a minute. We shouldn't have. We've been throughout this whole... But now I've got numbers over here. Now they're, they're going down, down too. K2 meter, EDI the meter. The going down. K2 is, EDI. K2 is spiking in the red. Now I'm getting readings on both though, right? Yes. That makes sense. On both. Turn the K2 meter this way, David, so we can see. Oh, they just stopped. Well, that's fine. Okay, the uh, mail meter, we got uh, 0 0.7 on there. K2 meter going off, EDI meter going off. Are you wanting to talk to us again? Get where you can see all three. You're more than welcome to at any time. Mine's going nuts. I see the lights on it. Yeah. Like the brighter the blue, the closer it is. Yeah, it's pretty and bright. It pretty bright. <laughs> it's pretty bright. Then you get a little red at the end. Thank you so much. Right when we were fixing to leave. Yep. Are you the same gentleman that was speaking with us in the back room? Can you light this up all the way over to red, please? Stuff. What is interesting is we've had zero connectivity issues until we just started getting the activity on the EDI and the K2 and the mail meter, mm -hmm. all three at the same time. Thank you, Susan. Are you a male? So great to hear from you again, my friend. Yeah, I'm back with a zero on this one in my left hand again, too. So, mail meter back down to zero. Yeah. EDI going off again. Now it's, it's stopped. Are you off over there again, too, Todd? You're off? Yeah. Okay. Maybe just off there and go crazy. So, do you want, do you want to communicate with us now? You want to grab the end of this meter again? for a backup. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I mean, it's we not, got everything going off. When not we, touching anything. When we walked through here the first time, it, it didn't even turn on. And the we, EDI meter didn't turn on? It didn't turn on. We walked through the storeway and it stayed off the whole time. AJ doesn't like the camera too much, but for those of you who have been with us for a while, you know who he is. But for those of you who are newer to watching PRGI, AJ is the co founder of PRGI. <coughs> He's a little bit camera shy.
We were getting hits on the living uh, storage <coughs> door earlier too. And it's just the door. See, but when we walked through here earlier, nothing turned on. No, nothing. Nothing. Anything on the SLS, Jason? Nothing looks like Look at this. This thing's about zeroed back out from mm -hmm. here to there. Let me get yeah. back over here so I can. Now it's going back in. Could be a portal. And now that's going up. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm definitely not close enough for it to uh, to interfere. Look, this one 2.4. 2.4 and K2 meters. 2.5. Oh, heck, man. And now this thing's lighting up again, too. 7.7. Huh? 7.7 7. 7 7. on the male meter. K2 meter. And EDI meter all reacting. Seven point seven. That makes sense. There he is, Ashley. He's getting uh, some readings along with David. Well, now I'm back to zero. Now I'm back to zero. Let me get just oh, two point three, two point six, and I know this is not going to seven point one. It's all over the place. Eleven. So whatever was in there is now out here. Now this, Are you out here with us? Most the K2 meter now is barely reacting. If you are, that blue light, keep them on. Wow. That will not stop going off. Look at that. Cold it's gotten here. cold in here. There's a cold breeze. You want to try another hallway? Let's walk back this way. See if we'll follow. All right, I'll, I'll follow you. Zero point zero. <laughs> All right, well, feel free to follow us. And now, just started again on the EDI down there. See, I'm going to follow them. What do you got, AJ? Nothing. I was just... AJ's got the FLIR. Just to be hard to see it on the screen here. So we're going to head this way. <laughs> yes. Still going. It's following us. It's walking with me. <laughs> All right, come on. Are you with us? Oh, yeah, we're 69 now. My fingers 71. from my first digit to the tip are froze. 60. Told you. <laughs> Told you. Hmm. All right. Well, let's uh, let's ask uh, let's ask some EVPs. K2 meter going off again. K2 meters going off again. Okay, buddy, you can come with me. Yeah. Oh, now I just went back to walking again. You just started going crazy again. So, who wants to, I think right here is a good central location. Um, someone want to start asking questions and the rest of us will go silent? Wait, does that work? Yeah. yeah. Well, you guys live through the zero point Can you... Can you knock on one of those doors or rattle one of those locks for us, please? Somebody 
just talk down this way. We heard you. What did you say? Seems to me to do this actually. Not when my fingers are frozen. Look. look what you're getting. Look. Yeah. Look at this one. Zero point zero. This one's all the way over. We were reading. getting zero readings on this equipment. Look at the K two. K two is maxed. Look at the K two and look at this. K two is in the red. And this one's zero point zero. So Jason's documenting with the IR. This as well. This is not normal. Okay, somebody, uh, somebody start asking questions. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, let's go back to silent. And uh, someone ask some questions. Let's see if we can get some voice interactions. What keeps you here? What keeps you in this hospital? Old hospital. Can you at least say hello to us again? Do you want to say something to, to the people at home? Who's in charge in here? For those of you watching, if you have a question that you would like for us to ask, please just type it in the comments. Again, this is a hospital. So if you have any questions you would like for us to ask, please let us know. And just to let you know, you can see how close in proximity I am to that uh, motion light. And it has not gone off. Todd wasn't as close to it as I am when we were walking by here. And it, it went off as we were walking away. It should not have done that. Hey, Michelle. Okay, we got a question from someone viewing. Why were you in the hospital? Were you a worker? Were you a patient? Hey guys, remember asking questions. Again, if anyone has any questions you want to ask on your behalf. Away from it just a little bit. Then we have on top of the EDI meter cat toy. K2 meter going off again, David? Yeah, it's back and forth.
Again, if anyone watching has a question you would like for us to ask, please just type it in the comments. Do you need a doctor? AJ, because of our location, do you mind asking a couple of questions in Spanish, please? No hay nadie aquí que habla español. Si puedes, haz un ruido en el pasillo. Tú eras un paciente aquí en el hospital. Puedes tocar una puerta. ¿Te puedes enseñar? ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te apellidas? ¿Cuántos años tenías cuando te muriste? ¿Tú sabes que el año es 2021? ¿Tú eres un ser humano? That was, yeah, I heard that. Don't know if any of you guys heard that. I said, are you? Say, say, that, say it a little bit louder, AJ, for those watching at home. I just asked in Spanish if it was a human, a human soul that we were trying to contact. And two or three seconds later, we heard a loud moan. Some of the team saying it came from that way. I thought it came from my right hand side. Just uh, Ashley asked for the guys, not, not the, for us. Uh, what's the history here? Why is it so active? The honest answer, the only history we can yes. find is that was an active hospital. Yes. yes. People died. There was an incinerator. Yes, there was an incinerator here where, where they did um, do cremations. Um, of course, upon the family's request. But other than that, it's all, there's, there's, no, there's no major history here. We don't need to stop. Yeah. Y oímos, ¿puedes repetir eso? ¿Estás en dolor? So let's try this. While you guys ask questions, I'm going to take everybody watching down here. I'll face you, and I'm going to turn the camera around facing behind me. Just... Okay. Just for a trigger object. Let's do it. Use myself as a trigger object and see what happens. See there again, you see how where I am for the motion light to go off? Todd was back here about where AJ was, but more over this way. 
and the motion light did not go off. So what we're gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna take you down the hallway. Is there anything you wanna tell us something about the hospital or even about yourself? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna point the camera behind me just as a sense of vulnerability. While the guys down there ask questions, I'm gonna go silent and we'll see what happens. I'm gonna ask that same question, Mark. Okay, let me uh, get everything situated where I, can, where I can figure out where I'm looking at. Okay, go ahead. La misma pregunta, ¿tú eres un ser humano? ¿Tú crees en Dios Jesucristo? Si puedes, a toca a mi amigo Mark en el hombro. Asústalo. Haz un ruido atrás de él. Rattle a lock down there around Mark so we'll know which room you're in. Are you a nurse? Can you please scare Mark? Give me some candy if you will. You scared him earlier. Are you a child? Are you afraid? Hear that? That was like a door moving. How old are you? It was just a faint voice behind me. Did y'all hear that?
Can you see this? Okay, it's just a reflection. Looks like somebody looking in, but just a refraction through the glass. Really, really neat if that was somebody looking in. Can you go down there with my friends and make a noise? Oh, they've got it locked. Can't go in 13. Cool. Room here. This is room 15. This would have been someone's room. So I had the oxygen hooked up, the bed mechanics. No closet. Okay, you can see if I do this. The door is not going to close. It has to be physically forced. So let's try this. Can you shut that door? Can you open the door? Here, if I'm making you nervous, I'll turn around. That way, I'm not looking at you. Did something happen to you in this hospital? Something bad? If you could shut that door, I'd really appreciate it. Or open that door wider, please. I'll make you feel more comfortable if I step out of the room. Are you having trouble breathing? If you are, make a loud noise and we'll get you some help. Okay. Do you need a nurse? Okay, I think when I leave, and feel free to shut that door. Just for documentation, as you guys can see, this door 
It's cracked open. I get the camera, it's hard to do from this angle. Looking at it backwards. So we'll come back and uh, check it out in a minute. Did something happen down here, guys? I heard you talking. No, no. It's um, maybe a top paper or something down there. So, Marty and Amanda, did anything else happen? No, it kind of got quiet. We heard a little bit after you guys left, but then it just kind of got quiet after, so. We figured it. Let them rest. Anything on the SLS? We had one earlier to you guys. Did have one earlier? Mm -hmm. Have you guys turned the flashlight? No, we haven't. No, we haven't. I think it's fun. Mm -hmm. So are they messing with Jason down there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He said he thought that he heard you talking at the end of the hallway. Down there? Yeah. yeah. So, no, <laughs> down at the other hallway. Yeah, we heard it clear as day. Somebody up in this hallway was talking. I thought it was you in the headphones. No, I was in the room whispering. So then, AJ's uh, turned on the lights just for a brief second so we can uh, check something down there. We're going to go down here where. Jason was saying he heard a voice. Right at 9.58 is when yeah. we heard it. Just had asked if he wanted to talk to us or something along those lines. Right, let me go down here and set up the flashlight. That's the, uh, the rim pod. Rim pod going off? Yeah, I don't know if they touched it or not, but it will go off now. Okay, so uh, hey, it's just us three again, just like last time. Yeah, here I'll set it up right here. Stop playing this cat and mouse game with us. Come out and get a right. Do you need oxygen? Have any babies been born tonight? Do you feel stuck here? Do you need a doctor? No. Do you feel stuck here? Can you knock on that door at the end of the hallway and let us know you're still loose, please? Are you trying to tell us something and we're not understanding? Can you turn on this flashlight? All you've got to do is uh, touch it. Get near it. Ooh, oh, awesome. Thank you. So you just wanted me to move, huh? Okay, could you turn it off? 
There was the strobe effect again. To step away for a second. Okay, guys, this happened earlier with the strobe effect. Take this light away. We have ne those of you who have been with us for a while know that we have never had this strobe effect happen with the flashlight experiment. Todd, you seeing this? Did you say it's getting cold? There was just a noise down there. Okay, another noise. Flashlight either always turns on or turns off, but we've never seen it strobe like this. Did it earlier in the night when Todd and I were down in the boiler room. Wow, thank you. Are you the same one that was down in the boiler room? Come. It's, there you go. Wow, thank you. Good job. That's very bright. All right. Is that Can, possible? Yeah, it's very possible. Can you, can you turn it off, please? Thank awesome. you. That sure seems like that was a yes. Yes. If that was All right. Whistling, can you turn that on, please? Oh, good question. Was that you who whistled with Marty and Amanda and I down there? All right. Thank you. Stroke effect. There we go. Again. Just to show you. And it just died out. Nothing. No one near it. It's in front of room, what room number is that? 224. Room 224. Are you a female? Still strobing. There was a loud thud Another. there, and then and something then, over here. Did you hear the thud again? Yep, I heard the thud. The did somebody whistle down there? No. So the light just didn't move. Okay. So if you're the same one that was doing that with Todd and I, and you're the same person who whistled at Amanda earlier, just to confirm, if that's you, can you turn that light all the way on again, please? All right, thank you. We're so honored to have you here with us. Are you a male? All right, thank you. Thank you. Now we know. Can you turn it back off, please? Are you that 21-year-old uh, patient that we were talking to earlier? All right. That's a no. I feel like that's a no. We said we didn't, we, didn't, <coughs> we can't confirm, yeah, because we didn't ask, turn it off for yes, turn it off for no, or whatever. <laughs> you like this game? Okay. Let's see, it, just to make sure you're the same one, even though you told us, we have to make sure for everybody watching. Let me explain. Todd and I were asking for one flash for yes, two flashes for no. Yeah, just like that. So, oh, there goes the strobe again. I have never, we ever seen you guys have seen us do hundreds of live sessions in, in the 20 years we've been doing this have never had the strobe effect come up. Thank you for uh, for trusting us. Okay, can you make it stop, please? Now I feel like you're just messing with me. Can you step back, please? I didn't even know this was possible with, uh, with a mag light. Can you please stop? I'm trying to get bright. For photosensitive people or light sensitive people at home. Right. <laughs> yeah. Man, that's crazy. So much for like okay, it looks like you're having a good time. Strong. Are you collecting energy? Can you turn it on and keep it on if you if you're collecting energy right now? Again, just to show you. Oh, thank you. Okay. Well, if you could turn it off. <laughs> Are you a prankster? If you're a prankster, can you make it stop blinking? Are you the 21-year-old that AJ was asking about? Two confirmations for that, AJ. All right, thank you. Wow. <laughs> wow. 
Never. Is there anything in this hospital that we should be afraid of? Was that you? No, it came from Brian. That was loud as shit. That was very loud. There it is again. Can you keep doing it? This might happen. I heard something say no. I heard a hundred voice. Why not though? Do you like music? Are you trying to warn us? There were just like four knocks. That's something else. Loud knocks, voices, strobe effects still going on. Can you knock again? Turn off that flashlight, please. Are there two spirits here with us? If there is, can you turn that light off? Not on. Just step away from it and it'll go <laughs> off. Please, just step away from it. I think there's games being played here. Yeah. Okay, can you turn that light off, please? Come on, if you like to play games, let's play a game. I want to see if you can turn the light off on the count of three, but I'm going to do it in a different language. Hana, do, set. That's for me, by the way. Well, here, here's, here's another device. I'm going to roll this down there. Roll it back to me. Yeah, if you can roll that back to me, that would be like... The coolest thing ever. Heck yes. So can you move from this over here? Or whoever's down there with Jason, can you make those noises again? Yep. Right right. Me. Two. That was him. I heard that. That was a voice. Is it that was. Is it behind you? Yeah. Right here in this room. Is that room open? Yeah. It's like a bathroom. I swear that's exactly where we kept hearing it before we left. We I checked that out in there. Okay, just to show you. It went off for a second when I walked by. I want to see if this is the same place I went to. <clears throat> go ahead, go ahead, please. Because it's going by the. Is it the blue? Yes, because I was in here earlier trying to check it out because this is exactly where I kept hearing it. Because I was, I was like, this tile is amazing. So what were you hearing, Amanda? Just all these noises like we've been hearing. Just that's it. And I walked in the same, very same bathroom. Sorry, excuse me. No, you're good. That's, that's, that's not making the same noises. No, but that is the same exact bathroom I went into because I kept hearing that. Well, Something's coming from this room. Have you ever tried to communicate with Casey? I clearly hear it from that room. What yep. about Jerome? Have you ever tried to communicate with Jerome? Do you know who Casey is? Voice. Yes, it was a female. I heard that. Almost like a moan or a sign. It actually sounded like it came from this room. Well, let, let me ask a question. Did you get hurt? And that's why you're in the hospital?
If you got hurt and that's why you're here in this hospital, can you turn on that light? Make that ball light up or make a noise, please. That was interesting. Like Something hit this stove back right here. Can you do it again? It was again, but it's fine. All going off. Oh, you would count just the tail end of it. Yes. Okay, can you do that again, please? Thank you, Todd. Mm-hmm. Noises back here. Noises back here. We're playing that cat last game again. Yeah. Yeah, just like that first night. It was yes. crazy, wasn't it? We would get our attention down here this way, and then something would happen over here, like that toy lighting up that. Was that one of y'all? That was Amanda. That's Amanda. Hey, Amanda. Okay, just making sure where you're at. Okay, so whoever's here, it seems like you'll, you uh, you like to play games. Are there any other games that you can do? Can you light up one of those lights again? You light up that little ball. I'll give you this piece of candy. See it? Look, I'll put it down. If you light up the ball, or you light up the flashlight. There it is. Will you please light it up? Or light this one up right here? Okay, so if you weren't hurt, did you have an illness? A sickness? Are you aware of the pandemic that's going on now? This virus that has killed so many people? That was a woman's voice. That was not Amanda. Hopefully you guys could hear that. Do do, Do you need a doctor in here? Mm-hmm. You try to go down? I'm afraid we'll lose the signal. If we'll try to go down. Jason, can you hold this door open? Yeah. Let me just ask some questions right here. Go so You can see the stairs. See, I thought the wind might be causing something, but it's completely still outside. Yeah, there's no wind. Okay, so if if someone's downstairs, can you make a noise, please? Was that you we heard walking? That's the ramp pod. The ramp pod's up yonder where we were. In the center. Freaking cat mask games. Same stuff. So it caught our attention here. It's doing the same thing. And now it's going to the other end of the hospital. (laughs) We'll hear whistles and moans here shortly. Yeah, pretty much. So we're going to head back that way. I can't believe that cat toy went off. I'll grab the flashlight. 
Thank you, AJ. Gotcha. It's like this place is coming alive. For those of you uh, just clicking in during the latter part of our live session, um, we've had a lot of interaction all over the gambit spectrum of paranormal investigating. But I highly recommend you go back to about the first five minutes with Marty and Amanda. Listen to Marty whistle, and then you'll hear something imitate his whistle. Where's my closet? I've got it in my hand. Well, what went off? So what, so what went off down here then? Is that it? What is that? Oh, that's, a, that's just a trail cam. So no rim pod up here? I got it in my hand. So if you had it in your hand, you had it off. Yeah, it's off. Then where's the other one? The other one's down at the far end hallway. The other one's down there. Yeah. yeah. And you didn't see it going off? Mm -mm. No. What, what does this do? The no, the mail meter doesn't make that kind of noise like a rim pod. That was a rim. I mean, that was like a legit rim. That pod. was definitely a rim pod. Going I could on. see on the ceiling a, a green and red mm -hmm. light. Yeah, we saw light down here. So, if we have someone who likes to mimic sounds, is that why you were whistling with Marty? Um, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, stop, stop, stop. Um, Marty, can you move towards Amanda, please? Todd, can you move your arm up and down? Okay, Marty, can you go back to stand where you were? Okay, there was a figure standing right over here next to Todd. And it went away. Now we, it's mapping Todd. Not me. No. No, well, it was not you. Because when you went back to where you were standing, it's not even mapping you now. Was it true? Uh, I, know. I know what that was. I mean, it was Me, I, I saw the I light too. I did too. That's why I walked out here. So let's, let's do this. Let's. That was a trip. Marty, can you carry the SOS, please? Oh, that's mm -hmm. do that. Got it? Yeah. Let's go down in that room where Jason and, and the rest of us were hearing down this middle hallway here. Okay. Um, wait, is this. This is where we were. Should be. Yeah, okay. You want to go back into that small room? I want to go back into that, that bathroom, that room you were talking about, Amanda. Oh, well, that's that one. Down okay, down well then, yeah, let's, let's go, let's go that's down there. That's where Jason was hearing all the noise. Okay. Down into that room where we were in. I don't think we've been down there. Is that I want to go in this room first. Sorry. Uh, good. Thank you, Alicia. Yeah, that was, uh, there were two figures standing there. So, Amanda, I'll follow you. Okay. And Marty, I'm going to stay behind you. So, if we do get something else besides Amanda walking on the SLS, we'll capture it, capture it live. So, is Amanda going to go off there? It's, uh... Oh, that was down there. No, that was down there. My I mean, camera the was down there, too. So, we, hopefully, it got no it. no idea. Yeah, we saw what the light. Watched, okay, so, so let's do this. We just did my voice. Did you? It was going on. So, I can just hear your voice. I'm going to turn off. So, Jason, we're going to go in that room where you were hearing the noises. It's a very small room, so I'll stay back here. Let me get them to. Hey guys, if you guys don't mind going silent just for about two minutes, we're going to ask some questions in this room where you're hearing the noises, Jason. So, is there a reason that you are making noise? Are you hanging out in the bathroom here? Why in the bathroom? Are you wanting us to follow you? Did you have an accident in this bathroom? 
Did you fall? Okay. You know, if you'll step over there beside Amanda, we'll be able to see you on this camera. That's pretty, man. Right. Okay, that's Amanda. I wasn't even laughing at you. So can you go stand by, beside our friend Amanda? Join her in the tub? Did you fall, like Mark said, or did you drown in the bathtub? I heard someone in there. I didn't hear something. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah that's what we heard. Do you need me to help you? What do you need help with? Can you reach up and grab her hand? She can help you up. This is this is where all the noises were coming from. Where you said earlier, Amanda, you had heard something. Mm -hmm. Or were you just hiding in here? Maybe we frightened you and you came in here. Say anything? Mm -hmm. Maybe this is just where they came to get away. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're not just hanging out here okay. because of reason. Just, yeah, all right. Well, I mean, I, it could just be. Yeah. yeah. Can, I mean, we know that they're moving around everywhere. So if we came into your safe space. But yeah, we'll leave you. Can you turn on the water before we leave? Do you need us to turn it on for you? Wow. Guys, we have had some crazy things going on here the last hour and a half with you normally we do our lives last about an hour but uh we wanted you guys to experience what we were experiencing um at the same time so let's let's do this it looks like we have everybody else down here at command central hey right when y'all come out we heard two looks like it sounded like the door <laughs> it's all over the place. I tell you what, guys, let's uh, let's do this. Is everybody here? Yeah. Where's Todd? He's right here. Okay. Um, to close out tonight, let's do something a little bit different. I'd like to just ask each one of you individually, if you don't mind, just kind of recounting one of the experiences that you've had. We've been investigating since about 8. We'll probably be going... Uh, Another three or four hours with the level of activity we're getting. So, uh, David, can, can you recount something that, uh, that you've experienced tonight, please? Sure. I enjoyed the EVP session we had with the young man out back uh, close to the entrance. Said he was born around the 60s, early 60s, died about mid 
75 to 79, somewhere in that range. Uh, very, very cool EVP session. Awesome. Jason, what about you? What, what a unique begin? experience tonight. Where do I begin? <laughs> uh, I would have to say probably when I kind of, I don't get scared at these places, but I felt terrified to walk up the hall right there. I felt the same way when I went to the restroom. So, I felt very nervous. Yeah, so Marty comes <laughs> up there, <laughs> and he's <laughs> like, are you okay? And I'm like, I'm scared to move. I am literally terrified. And that was this hallway here? That was yep. that hallway. Especially toward the other end of it. Uh -huh. Yes. The other uh -huh. end of it's where it feels wicked. But I don't, I don't get that way. No, places. I've never seen you that way. No. But I was literally terrified. Todd. I was scared. If you can come up here, please. If you could uh, recount for everyone uh, one of the experiences so far in the investigation that, uh, that really stood out to you. I'd say the whistling. Whistling. <laughs> I mean, it was because all of us looked at each other like we did it. Yeah. And none of us did, but it sounded just like, that's the mimic, Marty. Literally. Yeah. And mine. He thought, he thought it was us. I mean, he thought we were playing it back. We all heard it. It was clear. I mean, so that, that's probably the best one yet. Amanda, what about you? Well, I mean, like I said, even before we got set up. That's us whistling. Sorry. Even before we got set up, I heard a whistle down this way. And then again, like, you know, we said, we caught the cat toy going off, not once, but twice. Um, heard a bunch of noise. And then, let's see, what else? Obviously, just the mimic of his whistle, like he talked about. Um, I don't want to take everything because Marty's been with me, too. So he can go with what we experienced down in the, where were we when we experienced all the noise? I don't know, we're right below. Yeah, here. wherever the downstairs is here. So, Marty, if you can tell about that experience, please. Just the loud knock as we were standing down there. It was loud. Trying to get some interaction. It was probably less than 10 feet away from us. and It was a loud knock. Startled both of us. We confirmed that there was nobody on this side of the building, so it, it couldn't have been anybody on the team, and it was down there with us. Oh, yeah. That's, that's cool. AJ, what about you? What was the question? What is, <laughs> like you haven't heard, right? AJ's been paying attention to what's going on down at the end of this hallway. Um, just recount a unique experience that you've had during the investigation so far tonight. Uh, we made contact with a guy in his 20s. Um, gave us probably a good 20 minutes of evidence. Um, and for some weird reason, there's a woman moaning in different places of the hospital. Yeah. And uh, we've heard her voice. So between the young man and that lady moaning, that's pretty much it for me. Um, we're not done here yet, though. So No, no. We've still got three or four more hours right. to so go. Hopefully awesome. we get something pretty dramatic. <laughs> As if what we've had before already wasn't yeah. dramatic <laughs> enough. Yeah. Um, so from, from my personal experience, uh, because I tend to... Uh, Wait, is that someone, uh, is that one of us on the SLS? I'm watching that. It's one, it's one of them. Two okay. Um, from my personal experience here, honestly, I have to say the flashlight. Um, just been running that flashlight experiment for AJ and I started the team, what, a little over 20 years ago? Yeah. Would you say, AJ? And been doing the flashlight experiment since then, and I have never seen it strobe like that and it's done it twice now i did it with todd and i in the uh in the incinerator room and then you guys were witness to it up here in the hallway um this these these energies here have us you know running in circles yeah we're uh we're all over the place so for mark and aj and the rest of the team um i can honestly tell you that AJ and I started this 20 years ago, um, had no idea where it was going to go, but I can honestly say that this is a team that we wanted, the team that we needed to, to bring the energy together, and just want to say thank you all for tuning in, checking out PRGI. Um, we, we don't look at ourselves as a team, we look at ourselves as a family. And we wish nothing but the best for you guys. Thank you for joining us on our journey tonight.
Our journey will continue. We'll continue to document our experiences and, and what we have. And uh, thank you, Alicia. Yeah, we wish we could keep going with live too, but uh, we, we still have a lot of work to do, a lot of experiments to run, and we will be videoing each one of them. So for founder, co-founder, all the investigators, thank you guys, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Have a great evening. Stay safe.